Hi, thanks for tuning into my VR Integrator how-to video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the VR dockable windows and what options that come with it. So let's go ahead and set one up from scratch. So the first thing I want to do is go to the Blueprint folder and look for the item called BP Dockable Window. What we want to do is go ahead and drag one of those out in the world. We'll pick that up and spin her around. And there she is. So the first thing I want to do is just let's go with the options here. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, uh, set the U UMG class that we want to do. So we'll click here. And this is actually the, uh, the class, the widget that we want to display. So you can create any kind of regular UMG widget to stick in there. So for example, we have this window browser. So go in here and there we go. So it's basically any widget that we want to stick uh, in there. This one's done at a resolution of 1920 by 1080, 69. Um, ratio there and then we'll go ahead and go back over so keep that in mind uh, so then the thing we want to do is set that resolution here to 1920 by 1080 which is the default um, for this uh, blueprint uh, the next thing we want to do is go ahead and size um, the, the window and everything to be displayed correctly so we want to go ahead and raise that up here with this window scale so with you drag it open you can see that it scales up and down we'll go ahead and make that like 400 so now it's pretty big uh, and then a couple more cosmetic things we need to uh, choose on this is if we want this closable, so that disappears. And then if this is movable, that can disappear. So for this one, I'll leave them on. And then we want to uh, have this uh, visible on map load. And the other thing that we have to check is that this is a level placed item so that we know to go ahead and uh, do a couple extra th things with it. So um, that's pretty much how you get the windows in side of the level and get them set up with any UMG widget that you want. Uh, now the next thing you can do is you can actually, you know, create a UMG widget, which is pretty simple. Let's go ahead and go to uh, user interface and create widget blueprint. I do W for widget underscore. Um, let's do uh, hello world. And this is just going to be super silly and open this up and we have it over here and I will go ahead and give myself a nice little uh, background image here of white that sounds good to me or actually i'll go ahead and do this 1920 uh, 1920 and 1080 and we will do it a color of of gray and we're good and then we can go ahead and do a, a crazy text bot uh, crazy text right here oops did not drag that out there we go and as you would see i will go ahead and have a little bit of trouble here sometimes UMG. Oh, this is the reason why, because yeah. You actually gotta select on the text, even though the widget is not there. It's crazy. But anyways, let's go ahead and change the size of this so it makes it easy. And I said let's say hello world. And it's just that easy. And I want to size the content, it makes it easy. Okay. Hello world. Save it. Go back to this docket window. Go to the UMG class here and change it to the new one I, I just did, which was underscore hello world. There it is. Uh, now, something that needs to be done in addition to setting this UMG class is we have to click on the UMG class, change it to hello world, and then we have to go up here to this widget display, click on that, and make sure that says hello world too. Eventually, this will be uh, changed in the future where you won't have to do both steps, but there is a engine bug in uh, blueprints that can be done change inside the blueprints that doesn't up, update correctly um, from a uh, pointed version while it's in the editor so you can't actually see it uh, in the game it, it would update um, through the menus okay but this is uh, pretty hard to place them without actually able to see them so for now I'll go ahead and set both the widget displayed um, widget class and also the variable that is set in the uh, actor class itself under the options those need to be set to exactly the same and there you have it that we have a uh, um, a new hello world dialogue so if you have any questions post below and thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next video and at some point we will go over a video on how to change the the uh customs uh customized meshes with the colors uh, materials etc so thanks again bye